Hello lovelies and welcome to the channel. So I have a very very quick art journal video for you today mostly because before I overloaded you with Christmas videos and December daily which I totally plan to do in the next two days um, I thought I'd just you know give you something a little bit different to watch because I know the last video was a December daily and I think the next three will be if I manage to get set Sunday Monday and Tuesday so tomorrow Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and then my December daily will be up to date so that's the original plan and before I bombard you with all that I thought I'd give you something a little different and I just really wanted to play with my scribble sticks so this is a page in my journal which is almost full I'm very excited about and you will notice that it was it started as a cleanup page now I love showing you what I do with these because I think it's very beneficial to um have a use it up journal as some people call it this is in my regular journal um, I clean off stencils and things uh, it's the only cleaning I do I lay my stencils in my journal I'll run them over with a with a wet one or a wet wipe and generally get um, an imprint of that same stencil or something and yeah that's the only cleaning I do of my stencils but it does give me some of these awesome backgrounds and I thought it would be good to show you what I do with them. I've just started using some of them up, which is, um, yeah, a lot of fun. So that's why it didn't take very long, because I already had the start of a page ready. And that's the good thing about it. When you just, when you want to do something creative, but you don't want to pull out all your paint, or it's 11.30 at night, as in my case. And literally, all I've used is scribble sticks. And I uh, love my scribble sticks. And I love using them to ink up my stamps. So to start with, I got um, some archival ink because I wanted to just have a bit of grunge, a bit of depth, a bit of texture with sharp lines. So I used a stamp and uh, some archival ink just in a few places. And then I got out some of my favorite background stamps with my scribble sticks. So basically I just wet the stamp, uh, give it a light spritz of water from my water bottle and then use the flat end of the scribble stick and literally scribble over it. I tend to mix a few colours when I use the bigger stamps because I just like the the variation you get. And that's what I did. Oh, what was the colours? I, I don't even know. No, it was blackberry and can't tell you. I didn't think to look at the colors. I just, well the name, sorry, I just sort of pick up the ones that I think will work well. And plus I am trying to get away from my blues, my teals, my turquoise, those colors that we know I favor so much. So I pulled a bunch of purples and reds and of course night because I just can't help it. I love night. So when I did that first long checks um, stamp, then I went in with the scribble stamp with some um, night like I said to give it a different color and a different pattern and then I felt that I just needed something big and bold and very linear like, not linear because it's a circle but you know what I mean like just not something as abstract something very solid and I don't use this circle stamp as much this stamp set is one of my most used to the point where it doesn't cling to its backing anymore which is why it's in a bag but this circle stamp is the only one of the set that actually does still cling so I think I finally did it. I think I finally killed a jelly roll pen. I don't know if I've killed it or if it's just run out. It's very possible it's just run out because I do tend to use it a lot. But I really hope I haven't killed it because it's my favorite. I love the size, the 10. This is the 8 and I managed to um, get it working. So I've just used the white to scribble around my silhouette just to give it an edge. And then I get um, one of my favorite black pens. It's the Fubor pen and uh, it's it writes so nicely and it's really fat. And just to do some scribble journaling around my silhouette. I really love the way my scribble journaling is um, coming along quite nicely. So I really love the look this gives. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it was a very quick page. Um, it got paint on my hand, so I'm happy. It gave me a page in my journal that I love. And it took me about 10 minutes from beginning to finish, including drying time. So like I said, a really quick page, but one that I really do love. So you don't have to spend hours and hours in your art room to get your creative fill, trust me. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I do hope you will come back over the next three days to check out how my December daily progresses. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.